Hello all. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to use Myco's quick cross section microscope slides. This one is the newest and widest slot that we have. The width is 0.062 thousandths of an inch or 1.6 millimeters wide. Most like the thinner slots because the fibers are usually thinner than what I use. I have a lot of limitations with the uh, microscope I have it's a very inexpensive microscope <clears throat> still good for my needs uh, the people that normally use these things have microscopes ranging in the thousands of dollars this is a couple hundred dollars a few hundred dollars anyway we're going to be using this yarn here it's finished yarn it comes out of a bundle like this so what we do first is to wind it around that's once twice three times four times now people that usually use the narrow slots We'll know that uh, that's a lot. I could wind it more if I want it. So we stick that in and squeeze it together rather tightly. Now the razor blade is a singled edge safety razor blade. Now what's uh, critical about the razor blade is that you only use one per sample. You start out with a brand new razor blade. Once this is sample is cut, you throw the blade out not to use it again because if you do, you're going to get bad results. Now the very first angle from the cutting edge out is usually about 15 degrees and that's what you want to hold the razor blade at so that very first angle not that not the long angle there's another angle uh, a very short angle at the very tip of the edge that angle should be flat with the um, slide now the other thing with the razor blade, as I told you, you can only use it once per sample. That means you get two cuts out of one razor blade. So, so you see what I mean. I'm going to mark half the razor blade on both sides, both faces, the same half on both faces. We want to mark it. That's going to be a half that we're going to use for one cut and the half that doesn't have a mark we're going to use for the other cut. So we want to start with the non-marked half and we're going to come down here and just take a slice. Now as we flip the slide over we're going to flip the razor blade over and we're going to slice again then we make sure this razor blade is discarded and that's it now I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to show you this uh, sample blown up 1600 times okay now keep in mind this is an inexpensive scope people that use these uh, 
microscope slides usually have uh, something much better than this. There's the plate. That's 1600 times now. It would look a lot better if I had light coming through the top lens. I do not have that. Uh, I don't have any light from the top at all. Uh, this is from this light here is from the bottom so it would be much better if I had light from the top this uh, is very limited to what I can show you on this uh, scope I hope that helped thank you